Well, hey everyone. You know it's been a long time since I've been on here. And my rooster's out here crowing. I thought I'd give you guys a little update on what's going on. And uh, it's been busy, busy. Uh, uh, so much has happened, so that's why I haven't been on here. But I first wanted to show you what's going on with this. Um, my uh, chickens here. Uh, I don't know how well you can see this. Yeah, okay. I, I, Got my glasses on, so I can't see my phone real good. But uh, uh, two days ago, I came out here to refresh their water like I always do. I do every day. And I came inside here. Got my coop. Which now for sure, right over there, I got to get my hand boxes built because I'm getting my first eggs. That is actually my third egg the little white hen is doing it I'm actually finally starting to get eggs it's this like I said this is my third one from the same chicken and there's one of my cluckers coming up now to see what's going on uh, I don't see no other ones in here but uh, we keep one water inside and then I got two outside as you see they got their roost up and stuff but I gotta get my hen box built over here uh, they just turned four months old today, and I really wasn't expecting eggs like this yet, but happy we did. I know you all see my door, but it's actually got a panel down there that goes in it and keeps it, it for the winter time, or if it's storming out, I can close it up. I built these windows. It's been 104 degrees here the last couple of days. Today's actually cooler is 95, uh, but I put a 20 inch fan. I built these windows so they put fans in them. I just threw a fan in there and ran a cord out, even though I've got power inside the unit. But chickens are doing good. I don't know if y'all have seen, I put up the Cluckers hen pen and then named the building uh, the egg drop in. <laughs> Did a little touch-ups on here, here and there. Uh, come in here with the chickers. My hands, these girls are looking beautiful. Uh, we ended up with three roosters. Uh, one rooster killed one of the other roosters. This is the last one I have because I got rid of him. He was vicious. He was mean. He was mean to the chicks. Not that this one's going to get him some. Um, he was mean to the to the hens he was mean to me i just got rid of him uh he's done so we got one rooster so i still got 25 hens and one rooster and uh they're doing good and this one back here is the only one we've actually named our little they call her blue but she's actually sort of grayish but uh she had uh messed her leg up really bad and couldn't get around and Kim and I took her up and nursed her back and she's doing fantastic now She's getting around great had a little a little fun reintroducing her to the To the flock they were a little mean to her for a few days, but everything seems to be good now, but I built them a little roost in here uh, outside in the pen and well, I put a hanging one up here, but they don't seem to like it. I'm probably gonna take it back out I haven't seen them on it, but a couple times uh, And it's been out there for a couple weeks now So that's not doing real good, but I, as you notice behind me, there's this big building that wasn't there before And this is where I've been so dang busy out there that tent uh, we had our stuff in the tent uh, for while we've been building this house both those tents had stuff in them uh, The one on the right there still does Has some of our furniture in it, but the one on the left the floor collapsed in it and we had to rush rush Spent everything we had for two months. I mean every penny we had for the past two months So I could build that uh, 16 by 24 shed uh, I've got all the stuff except for about three items out of that first one right there 
we still got to get everything out of there, but it's been so hot these last few days, we're not out here working. And Miss Kim has been down sick for uh, three weeks almost. But built us a nice shed. I still got to get a door on it. Uh, we're going to put a temporary wood door on it, but then I'm going to put uh, uh, one of those metal sliding doors like you see on a storage unit on here. But my big old shed, as you can see, we're already we're sorting through stuff. All this here has got to be sorted. That stuff back there has been sorted. That's all garage sale. That's all. Every bit of that is t-shirts, hats, and vinyl and stuff from when I had my graphic shop. Uh, that I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it. If I'm gonna keep it and and try to make more shirts and hats and stuff like that, or if I'm just gonna sell the entire thing off. The machine that cuts the vinyl and everything is still in that first tent out there. And the only other thing I've got left to do to this one is trim it. And I'm going to put a ramp here instead of those block. Um, but I just wanted to give everybody an update. Oh, get my fingers out of the screen and let you all know what's going on. Uh, I know that nobody had seen me in a, it's been a couple months. I've been, I've been so dang busy uh, trying to get the inside of the house done. We got more cabinets put in. Uh, I'm working on the walls now as, uh, as a matter of fact I'll be going up there in a minute and doing some more in Kim's bedroom uh, trying to get all the sheetrock uh, mudded so we can get them painted and then uh, uh, over on this other side over here I'll get over here and show you what I'm going after here because our hill kept washing out on us so this is another thing that's been going is I had a truckload of gabion rock brought in and we've been stacking rock when I say we it's me been stacking all this rock on this hill and I've still got to go I gotta have another truckload yet go down through there and I'm building a, a base around the, the poles right there because that is so steep then we're just gonna pour you see pipes there sticking out those pipes are going to get cut off to uh when i level concrete in there i'm gonna put some concrete right up to the top of the stairs there and come down or the walkway and come down to keep that from running off and washing out as you can see everything everything up there was washing out and that whole hill back there has come that way back in there has come back a foot in the last year and a half and we've got to stop that um so this gabion rock it's heavy i'm putting down a uh mat as you can see the gray there i'm putting down a uh weed mat below it um i, I could have bought the cheap stuff but man we, we just, we're gonna be here for years i really didn't want to have to mess with it so i bought some stuff that was like 25 years guaranteed uh, keep the weeds and stuff down now. I know you're still gonna get some that'll come through the rocks There's some that's they'll live in freaking anything um, But they'll for the biggest part we won't have the weeds and we won't have the the runoff because the the matting will it, It's permeated to let the water go through so those rocks will actually settle into the freaking mud and side of the dirt there and then uh, you'll never have to worry about them again. I just got to worry about somebody trying to climb up them because you could still get hurt uh, trying to climb up and down the rocks. And then I put a little garden in here for Miss Kim. Uh, it's been so hot, the flowers are sort of wilting off there. I've been watering it, but they're, they're sort of wilting out a bit. Um, but... Uh, and I had to put that little pea gravel on there because we had little, we got lizards all over here. And they kept digging up. Well, I thought putting pea gravel in would help. As you can see, there's still dirt showing. They were still digging. I watched the internet and they said put eggshells. As you can see, I've got some eggshells around here. And the lizards will think there are predators around and they won't come around that area. 
and I have not had any digging since, so that really does work. Um, so just giving y'all some helpful hints there. If you got those yard lizards like we do, um, just take some cracks. Use the whole egg. Don't just use half. Use the whole egg. Um, from what they're saying is, you can see I've got two pieces there, two there, two there. I put them around it. And I have not had a lizard come back in there yet. They also say that's a good way to keep them out of your house if you get a house lizard. Is to put eggshells around and they will leave. Uh, put them by your doors. They won't try to come in. Now I don't have to worry about that here. It's a steel building. There is no gaps anywhere they can't get in. I mean they'd have to walk in with me in the door to get in. So anyway. Uh, that's my update. Just wanted to tell everybody what's going on. Uh, I have changed the name on the channel to the Fitzcrafter Homestead um, instead of just Fitzcrafter. So if you see that pop up, it's it's still me. Um, I just uh, I just thought I'd I'd uh, change the name a little bit to because most of the videos I'm gonna do are gonna be around here. Uh, once I get my shop done, we're, we're working real hard right now and finishing this upstairs Then I'm gonna get the concrete in downstairs and then you guys are gonna start seeing a lot more videos of uh, woodworking um, Laser engraving 3d printing, you know, just all the stuff that I do down there uh, I'll be doing some videos on stuff like that and, uh, I've actually got I don't know if you guys can see it my little lemon tree is doing fantastic it was dying out and i had to give it some new soil man it came back like crazy but it ain't gonna give me no lemons this year and uh, the 13th guys the 13th i will actually have a full set of teeth they're all at the at the at the processing place being made right now my lowers needed some adjustments so they're redoing them and I will have all my teeth, and then I probably won't be able to talk at all, because I tried talking with them in two days ago when I was at the dentist getting them set up, and it was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'll have to learn how to talk all over again. But, uh, gonna be good, gonna be good. So, bless y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I know it's been a long time. I will try my best to do more. I've just been so busy, as you can see, and, you know, of course, I have to do everything myself. I don't have any help around here, so, and we can't afford to pay nobody, so, as you can see out there, you know, I've, I've had so much work to get done, uh, trying to get that building put up and get all that stuff moved and finish up the interior of the house and uh i had to put a new exhaust on my truck it it finally went out and rusted out i had to put a new exhaust on the truck and uh i've had uh, my little backhoe which is what's digging this rock down here moving it for me uh uh one of the welds broke on it i've had to tear the whole arm off it and redo it and and uh re-weld it and reset it and so i was leaking fluid like crazy so I have been so busy. I'm sorry I haven't been on here, but I have been I've, I've been overwhelmed with stuff. And then trying to take care of Miss Kim, she's been down sick so bad the last three weeks. She's finally starting to feel better. Uh, we don't know what it was. Doctors don't know what it was. She's just absolutely sick. I mean, just, just horrible. So God bless y'all. Love you. And we'll see you soon.